Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to integrate HP 32 with Apple HomeKit to control your home appliances with the help of Siri. So without wasting some more time, let's see the demo. Hey Siri, turn off the main light. Hey Siri, turn on the side light. Hey Siri, turn on the main light. Hey Siri, turn off the dim light. Hey Siri, turn off the side light. Hey Siri, turn projector on. Okay. Hey Siri, turn projector to HDMI mode on. On it. Okay, the projector to HDMI mode is on. Hey Siri, turn on the main light. We can control the same thing with the help of home app So the first step is to set up your ESP32 board into your Arduino IDE. So for that, I have already prepared a video and attaching that particular link into the description. Go check that video. So after setting up the board, you need to install one library named ESPHAP for Apple HomeKit integration. So for that library, I am attaching that into the description box. Please download that library. So once you have downloaded the library, so you need to import that library into your Arduino IDE. So for that, go to the sketch, include library, add .zip file. Here you need to uh, select that zip file that you have downloaded. So here I am selecting it. So in my case, I have already uh, installed the library. So I am selecting no for now. So in your case, please install it. So once the library is installed, you need to open an example present in that particular library. So here uh, we are uh, creating a accessory for one switch so that we can control a relay that we have connected to our ESP32 board. So go to that example named ESPHAP switch. So I'm opening that INO file here. So in that INO file, we need to modify some things like uh, the GPIO pin for the relay, the name and the SSID and the password for the Wi-Fi network. So those kinds of information we need to edit it. So currently we're going into the code. In my case, the GPIO pin is two for the relay. So that I have written it here. And the name, the host name that you want to give, you can give it as per your convenience. So I'm giving it as Wi-Fi setup. So this name is for ESP32 board in the AP mode. Like if you are not able to connect to any SSID or password, or if you have changed the password for your Wi-Fi, so that ESP is going into the AP mode and then you in the using the Wi-Fi manager, you can connect to that ESP board and re-enter your new password. So this is the name. So for the SSID, the current SSID and the password for your network, you have to give. 
have already entered it here so we will quickly go to the code what the major part is there so the detailed comments are already present in the code so here i am going to the 126 line so for that here we need to uh, define some properties for the accessory so in my case i have entered down my name into the manufactured and the version is 1.0 so like these kinds of information you need to provide or if you, you can give it here or in our case we are adding one accessories so if you want to add more accessories like more lights fans switches lights these kinds of information here the services you can add n number of advice services you can add it here so now we are good to go so we are directly uploading this code into your esp so for that we need to select the board i have already selected my board and the port number i will directly upload it so in this particular uh, program so we have one more options like this is the integration for only for apple devices as well as here we have one internet based controlling of that particular switch also let's suppose if we don't have any apple devices and still wants to control our switch so with the help of the sp ip address we can able to do that so already we have already attached the code for that html here in this particular example please check it out so later we can see how we can control the switch using browser as well as the apple home kit As uh, we can see, the code is getting uploaded into the ESP32 board. So once it is uploaded, then we can check by connecting the ESP32 to our Wi-Fi network. And then we will be connecting this. So once the code is getting uploaded, we are going to the serial monitor. And there uh, we can check is the wi-fi is our esp32 is connected to the wi-fi or not if it is connected then we will directly checking it into our home app by pairing that particular device so as we can see uh, our esp32 is getting connected to our network and now we will be going into the home app by any of our ios devices and add that particular accessories so for adding the accessories we need to go to the home app and in the home app we need to add accessories into the add accessories option you can find the scan code or go to the more options so in the more options we have to select the new devices that is going to show it here so for that we need to take care one more part here we are the network in which our esp is connected and our ios device is there is same so for setting setting it up we need to connect it first and later we can uh, handle it with the help of any of our devices with the help of internet also so here we can find the host dbed device so you click on the add anyway button here we need to enter the pin the default pin is 8 times 1 so here we have entered the default pin and we have clicked it so here we can see in the uh, serial monitor also we will get we will seeing the, the accessories getting added so now we can select the room in which room we have to add this particular device I've selected the room name of the device you can give I'm adding it as the main light okay it is a light can okay, selecting it continue done now in my bedroom the devices i can see is presented here so if uh, right now it is turned on so what we can do it is turned off so now let's check how it is connected or not 
Hey Siri, can you turn on the main light from my bedroom? Okay, the main light is on. Uh, now check the same with the Siri also. Hey Siri, turn on the main light from my bedroom. Thank you all for watching this video. I will be attaching all the content related to this tutorial in the link present in the description. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video. I will be meeting you again in the next video.